Welcome to an introduction to managerial accounting, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, please visit parkbenchtutors.com. In this podcast, we will introduce the importance of costing for managerial accounting. The differences between manufacturing and non-manufacturing costs will be dealt with, how more than one inventory account is used, and how the cost flows through the accounts for a manufacturing business. Managerial accounting looks at the costs for producing a good or service. The cost of a good includes the cost of the materials that are used to make the good, the cost of any labour involved, and the cost of overheads such as rent and depreciation. Costing is important because it forms the basis of setting sales prices, calculating whether or not a profit will be made when a particular good is produced, to set targets for production, and to evaluate the performance when producing a good or supplying a service. For a merchandising business, costs are fairly easily identified, since the goods are purchased at one price and then sold on at a higher price. The costs involved include any storage, labour and other overheads. For a manufactured good, the costs are a little more involved. Raw materials and components are bought, and these are made or assembled into a good that is then sold. These produce materials costs. The labour that is used directly to produce the good is called direct labour, and there will also be overheads to be added to the cost. The completed items are then stored until sold. Manufacturing costs include all the costs that are associated with producing a particular good. Direct materials means any raw materials that are used and any components that are used directly in assembly. For many electronic goods, the plastic casings may be made, but components for circuit boards may be purchased from another supplier. Direct labour means any labour cost that can be attributed directly to the production of the good. In addition, all goods produced will share the costs that are referred to as manufacturing overheads. These include indirect labour, utilities, depreciation, maintenance and other costs. These costs are shared because they cannot be directly attributed to the production of a particular good. Non-manufacturing costs include all those costs that are associated with selling products that are made, including advertising, salaries and commission for sales staff, the cost of storing and shipping the finished goods. They also include all other costs that can be termed administration costs. Manufacturing costs are also referred to as the product costs. This is because the direct labour, materials and manufacturing overhead are the costs to make the good, and these will be expensed when the goods are sold. Up until that point, the materials, work in progress and finished goods not sold, are assets of the business. The non-manufacturing costs are period costs, and these are expensed in the accounting period in which they occur. The costs of a product are looked at differently with financial and managerial accounting. Product costs for financial accounting must follow GAAP, and full cost information is required. This means that the product cost includes direct materials, direct labour, variable and fixed manufacturing overhead. Managerial accounting looks at more than this. Managerial accounting is also interested in incremental analysis of costs, including changes in costs, revenues and profits on an incremental basis. On the balance sheet, costs for a manufacturing business are shown in a particular way. Remember that until sold, the goods are treated as an asset. This means that inventory is split into three different sections. The first is the inventory of raw materials, including both raw materials and components. The second part is an inventory of work in progress, which includes all the partially completed goods. Partially completed goods will have used materials and labour and will have incurred a share of manufacturing overhead. The finished work will include all the direct materials and labour used 
plus the share of manufacturing overhead to produce the finished good. Remember that manufacturing overhead includes such items as indirect materials and indirect labour, depreciation, rent, insurance and other items. Let us just look briefly at how these costs are going to flow through the accounts. Raw materials costs are transferred to work in progress, together with direct labour costs and manufacturing overhead costs as they are incurred. All these costs are transferred to the inventory for finished goods as work is completed on the product. The balance sheet will then have three inventory accounts with the costs flowing through these accounts and only when the goods are actually sold will these involve an entry to the income statement. At this point there will be revenue from the sale and the cost will then be transferred to the cost of goods sold. To determine the cost of goods sold we follow a simple procedure. First we need to determine the cost of the goods manufactured. Take the figure for work in progress at the start of a period Add any direct materials and direct labour used, plus the share of manufacturing overhead, and then subtract the work in progress at the end. The result is the cost of manufacturing goods for the period. Now that we have the cost of manufactured goods, take the figure for finished goods at the start, add the cost of goods manufactured, subtract the figure for finished goods at the end, and the result is the cost of goods sold. This ends our second podcast on managerial accounting, brought to you by Park Bench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. Thank you for watching and for listening. We wish you success in your studies. For more information about Park Bench Tutors, please visit parkbenchtutors.com.